Hello guys, we are back with another tutorial of the scientific calculator. In the previous tutorial, I've shown you how to find out the linear regression curve and the coefficient of linear regression. In this video, in this tutorial, I will tell you how to find out the standard deviation and other statistical calculation with the help of this scientific calculator. So, uh, here I have some data. Uh, on the behalf of this data, I'll find out value of standard deviation and other statistical calculation like mean or popular standard deviation and um, sum and square of sums yeah so let's switch on the calculator first now to to come in the standard deviation mode i have to press this mode button second two times okay so so for the standard deviation i'll press one so now i'm in the standard deviation mode Okay, first I'll put uh, all these data, I'll insert all the data in the calculator. So the first one is 55. Uh, if you've seen my previous video, the last video, if you've seen my last video, so you know to insert the data, like uh, uh, if you want to insert the second one, so you have to press M plus. Here the screen is showing this N is equal to 1. It means I have insert my first number so for the second number is 54 i'll press 54 then again i'll press m plus here n is equal to 2 it means i have insert my second data also second number so for the third one third one is 51 i'll press 51 then again m plus here's the third one so 55 is the fourth one again 53 is fifth one then again 53 6th one, 54, 7th one, and 52 is the last. Okay, so I have inserted all my data in this calculator. So to find out standard deviation, I'll press shift and then I'll press 2. So you can see this is for population standard deviation, this is for standard deviation. And this is for mean so I have to find out the population standard deviation I'll press 3 then this button is the value is 1.4078 okay so now I want the value of standard deviation I'll again press shift and then 2 okay so I've I want to know the value of this standard deviation. I'll press 2 again. Okay, so I'll press this button now and here comes the value of my x is 1.3169 So now I want to know the value of mean. I'll again press the shift button then again this 2 for this. Okay, so I'll find out know, know the value of mean. So I'll press 1 Now again, I'll press equal to and then it comes the mean is 53.375 so here I got these three values now I want to find out the sum of all these numbers so I have just pressed shift and then 1 for all these three value I was using shift and 2 but for the sum and square of the sum i have to press shift and then one so for the sum it's two equal to and the sum comes out be 427 then i want to know the value of square of the sum and um, one okay so i'll press one equal to here's the sum Let's see it's two two eight oh five now I know the value of this n so I'll press three equal to and it's eight as you all know this one two three four five six seven and eight so that's all for the today's tutorial guys thanks for watching Mm.
If you like the video, give it a thumbs up.